Thank you. I'm so glad you're all here tonight. This is going to be fun. Yeah. We, uh, we have some surprises for you, and uh, this is not the... No I know many of you are repeat offenders. And uh, so this is not the normal show that uh, you're going to see. There's a little behind the music thing. I'm going to tell some of the stories you've heard before, and hopefully some that you haven't. Yeah, we, we got all kinds of guests tonight that uh, you've never seen. And, oh, and we uh, have rearranged a bunch of tunes, and so there's all kinds of changes that uh, you have never seen before, and I have never played before. So this is going to be really interesting. Um, we're going to start off with uh, one of my... I, I'm so blessed to have this gentleman here as a guest of mine tonight. Uh, he and I co-wrote a bunch of tunes back in the day, and uh, yeah, well, we got a few of those guys coming tonight, but the, the, the one I want to introduce now is one of my favorite writers, players, he's probably one of the greatest of, of the last 30 years, David Foster. So uh, we're going to start it off this uh, about three songs that we wrote together. This is the first, and uh, you may recognize all of these. I hope you do. Here we go. Will be 
too high a note to start a show with. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, good Lord, Kenny Loggins. Uh, this is probably the only chance, I'm gonna stand up because this is just too important to be sitting down. It's the only chance I'm gonna get to say anything on your show. Uh, but I just wanna say that um, the amount of music, the amount of quality, beautiful music you've been given the world over the course of your career Thank you. is unparalleled. And it doesn't... Except for you. It doesn't, it doesn't come easy for this man. I can just share a brief story with you. Uh, during the heyday of our writing together, and I was so honored and thrilled that, uh, that Kenny spent some writing time with me, but he would literally come into the room when we were writing, and he'd have a little tape recorder back in the day with the little digital... Well, it was like it a digital? memo thing. Like, yeah, like, and he'd say, and this is what it would sound like. It's three o'clock in the morning. Everybody's asleep, the kids, but I'm sure that the word but should be changed to the word the. I'm, I'm positive <laughs> of it. And that's the kind of minutia I had to deal with with this guy. But all for a great cause and all for great music. So thank you for making me thank part you. of your musical life. Thank you. For me and be 
Because I still believe There's only one thing You can never give up Or ever compromise on That's the real thing you need in the So break your life is over And nothing I can say can change your mind How could anybody be so selfish And treat you all so cruel Want and scream at me and cry Your daddy doesn't live here anymore Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh I did it for you and the boys Because love should teach you joy And not the imitation That your mama and daddy tried to show you I did it for you and for me Because I still believe there's only one thing You can never give up, ever compromise on It's the real thing you need Not everybody's sailing out to sea Is there someone there for me? I'm ready to be So this was an interesting song, and I'm not going to introduce this fella until I tell you a little bit about the story. I have this idea uh, of a chorus on my little tape recorder, and I'd sung it in there, and so I took it to New York where David was working, and we sat with it, and we came up with a bit of a chorus, but we didn't have a verse. And I said, you know, the perfect guy to write this verse is Michael McDonald. Let's bring him on. Well, 
he hasn't played yet, you know, we don't know, the jury's out. Uh, so here's the deal. So Mike and I wrote the, uh, the verse together in the bridge in, in, I think, the bridge. Did we have the bridge? Who knows? Yeah, they're both going to claim it. But when we got to recording it, Mike didn't know the chorus. David didn't know the verse, so I brought them both in for the recording session. And we had the piano, the acoustic, acoustic piano in one room, and then Mike and I in the other room. And then he would just stop playing on the chorus, and he would start playing. So I thought we would recreate that for you all tonight. Yes. And uh, they have never played this song together before. Are we ready? See if you know this one.
David Foster. And Michael and I wrote a few songs too. Um, the, the story behind the song is the melody came pretty quick and it came with two lines of lyric attached. It had the opening line, there have been times in my life I've been wondering why. Excuse me? I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> no, <it's a> <laughs> <laughs> there have been times in my life I've been wondering why. And I thought that was a pretty cool way to start a song. We had that and we, then one line showed up as we were messing with the melody. You think that maybe it's over only if you want it to be. And we thought that that meant that it was a relationship that was over. So we started trying to write boy-girl lyrics onto it. And the song wasn't going for it. At the same time that we were working on this song, my dad went in the hospital for major surgery. Well, he went in for the surgery, and while he was in, I knew I had about eight hours, so I went and called Mike, and we started working on the song together. And when we got to the line, you think that maybe it's over, only if you want it to be, it became obvious to both of us that it was a song about the NBA playoffs. <laughs> so, <laughs> which, ironically, they used that year. <laughs> song called This Is It. Yes. 
Oh. Yeah. That's so fun. You know, we, we, we've done that song together 30 times. Maybe. Never the same twice. <laughs> <laughs> we never know whether, where we're going to land on that sucker. This one is my favorite. This next gentleman won a Grammy for uh, Best Hip Hop Producer Singer along with uh, Kendrick Lamar as a rapper. And 
After the Grammys, he was doing an interview, and they asked him, well, if you could collaborate with anybody, who would you want to write with? And he said, Kenny Loggins and Michael McDonald. Which shows you what an absolute freak he is for this era. So my son called me and said, Dad, you got to check this out. Thundercat just said he wants to write with you. Thundercat. Dude. You, you. Thank you. So, so this is going to be interesting. We finished this song today. We worked it up at Soundcheck. Let me show you, show you the way. On the edge of dark, there's a brightest light. A blinding light on the edge of dark. When no one can tell there are worlds apart. Just take a ride
Thundercat. Thank you. I was a little bit nervous. <laughs> yeah. What can I say? Jimmy Messina. Thank you. Thank you. Loggins and Messina was a young band. Jimmy and I were in the backseat of a station wagon, and I told him about a dream I had. Uh, in the dream, I was uh, on, on an island. Uh, there was a songwriter's convention going on, as will happen from time to time. And, uh, and on the island, people were, um, they were playing a game. They were writing like uh, four bars of music and passing it on to the next person who would write four more bars of music and then they'd pass that on, each one elaborating on what had come before. And then uh, lyricists were doing the same thing, passing around that music and now writing words to the melodies that they saw. And I told Jimmy about the dream and he said, well, let's give it a try. What do you, how can we do that? I said, well, I have a melody. I've already started, but doesn't have any words. So let's, here's how you play the game. We're not going to talk about what the song is about. We have no idea. The song's going to write itself. 
Uh, so I said, the melody is da 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 We didn't even have the music. I just said the syllables. And he wrote, if you've been thinking, you're all that you got. Then I wrote, then don't feel alone anymore. And he wrote, because when we're together, then we've got a lot. And I wrote, because I am the river and you are the shore. And we went. Cool. That, That's one of those uh, games you play in a car that actually was profitable for us. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> I said, wow, that is a damn good game. <laughs> so we kept going with it. And uh, we wrote uh, this next song, a song called Watching the River Run. song, I, ha I have to say a little something because th for, for me, this is a really special song that Kenny wrote. And um, the beauty about Kenny is he has this amazing voice that uh, he can move and shape uh, in ways that uh, I haven't heard people be able to do. And he really, he wrote this next song as a character. And when I first heard it, <clears throat> I went, oh my God, I just, I was right there in the place that he was singing about. Um, and it was very inspiring for me because I used to play Telecaster a lot and it was a perfect song to throw this kind of funky rockabilly Louisiana yeah. thing. So 
I liked uh, what you just said. You said Funkabilly. Funkabilly. I ain't never heard nobody say that. <laughs> well, yeah, you're gonna do Funkabilly tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when when I wrote it, I was probably 17, and I and I imagined myself as an old guy sitting on the front porch singing this song. You know kind of rocking back and forth in a rocking chair, and now I am that guy. Now we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is dedicated to Leon Russell, who uh, obviously was a major influence on that character. But I got to record it with Leon. I don't know if I told you that. And yeah, Leon and I recorded it for my children's album together. You know, I think we should do the first song we ever, ever did together. That's the first song I actually ever played for you. Was it Happy Birthday? Was that? <laughs> oh, no. I didn't know you then. I went over to his house. Uh, um, I'd been trying to audition for Jimmy Messina for about a year. And finally, I got a chance. Jimmy was the producer of the Buffalo Springfield, uh, what, the last couple records? Mm -hmm. uh, last record, yeah. Yeah, last time around. And then, uh, uh, which I loved, that was a major influence on me as a writer. And, uh, and then the Poco stuff. Poco. I actually... I was sitting in the audience watching Poco. 
back then. And then, um, and so I said, I got to work with that guy. I had no idea that I meant I got to marry that guy and live with him the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, so I uh, went over to his house. That, then I, I, I pulled out the guitar and sang this one. People smile and tell me I'm the lucky one And we've just begun Think I'm gonna have the sun He will be like she and me As free as a dove Conceived in love Sun is gonna shine above Here we go, come on They know it Everything will bring a change Love, wow, wow, wow. In the morning when I rise My eyes tell me Thing is what? Yes, indeed Love the girl who holds the world in a paper cup Come on and drink it up Love her and she'll bring you luck If you find she helps you My brother to you low Boy, don't you let me alone Try to earn what lovers own Everybody Even though we ain't got money I'm so in love with the honey Everything will bring a chain of
Song called Sweet Reunion. Sweet Reunion, welcome home again. In the moment I first saw you, I could swear that we had met. The look in your eyes was so familiar. Where and when I forget. Whispered your name in an introduction And darling, my heart in the room And I knew it was you Come back in my life So we meet again, my long lost friend Once again we get started anew And it's been Oh, 
About seven years ago, I went to Nashville to make a record, and I wrote with a half dozen of the best songwriters in Nashville, one of which was a fellow named Gary Burr, who happens, I discovered on that trip, is also one of the funniest guys I ever met, and we, even though I was making the divorce record, which of course you have to go to Nashville to make, uh, we laughed our asses off for the entire time we were writing it. And uh, I had so much fun writing with Gary, I said, man, if this was 20 years ago, I'd start a band. And a little while later, I was back home working on a record, and every time I got a song idea, I thought I wrote Save for Gary. And after about 20 of those, I said, you know what? I better call him up. And I called him, I said, you know, not only should we write together, we should do that band thing. And he went, okay. And I said, and I think we need a girl in the band. So Gary Burr and Georgia Middleman. And we are Blue Sky Riders, and this is a band. Don't lie, and the rhythm is right. And all the stars are very wasting all that light. Yeah. It's feeling like love everywhere. Yeah, there's definitely something in the air. I can't see, I know for sure what it's all about. And while it's time, trying to figure out. You don't analyze luck, you don't scrutinize fate You just think your lucky stars and celebrate Cause it's a beautiful night, don't you agree? Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's just this moment and there's only you and me I can't say I know for sure Why?
Be fun for us. I'm not, I'm not making any guarantees. How low is your threshold for fun? All right, see, so you know, then, then this is going to be a riot. <laughs>
I begin to think I understand Anywhere we are You and I have always been Forever and ever I see myself within your eyes And that's all I need to show me why Everything I do always takes me home to you special guest for me. This is the uh, debut of uh, a very special singer and a very special person in my life. The first time that she and I have ever gotten to sing together on a stage. It's my daughter, Hannah. <laughs> Hannah Loggins. Her microphone. And that's just for existing. <laughs> this is fun. Yay! <laughs> it's odd for me to say that. I'm not usually one for stages, but I like this. Do we forget or forgive 
There's a whole other life Waiting to be lived The one day will pray but not Talk with conviction of the heart As if my feet were not my own Such is the path I chose Doors I have opened and closed I'm tired of living this life Fooling myself Believing we're right I've never given Stop somehow If that's too angry to breathe Why do our children can't drink You've heard it hundreds of times They say you're aware Even you care
Home for the holidays I believe I've missed each and every face So come on and play one days And let's turn on every love light in the place It's time I found myself Totally surrounded in your circle To tell me why And I gotta count on being gone So come on, mom Come on, daddy Please what you want from me I'll be strong I'll be weak <laughs> Yeah, no. 
we're going to try something here. Just the ladies. Show them how. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Just the ladies. Bring in the guys. We got that. Can do that up there. I'm finally here, but I'm bound to go. Come on,
Synergy Choir, Synergy. We have an opportunity to, to showcase uh, an exceptionally talented young fellow over there on the guitar from New Iberia, Louisiana. It's Mr. Scott Bernard. So I said, uh, I said, you know, so you, you're you're the authentic thing, man. We want I want a Louisiana shuffle on this next song. He said, okay, here's what I'm going to do to it.
Thank you. You guys are great tonight. Thank you so much.